Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jeff with iDownloadBlog. Gonna show you how to create your own custom Siri responses when you invoke Siri. You wanna go ahead and connect to it using OpenSSH. I have my FTP connection here. Open up system, open up library, and then open up audio. Then you should see the UI sounds, open that up. And here is all your audio, and you should see the JBLs. These are all the Siri responses, the confirms, the cancels. These are all the Siri responses that you can have with Siri. So you wanna just drag one of those off. I'm gonna show you an example of one of those responses here. And no doubt we're all very familiar with that particular sound. Let's go ahead and remove that. All right, now we're gonna just drag off the uh, JBL begin file. Now this is one that was created as a custom sound. Yes, yes. That was created for hands-free control and that is one of their sounds. Let's delete that. So now we can create our own sound. I'm gonna show you how to do this right now. Now that we've identified what we need to change, let's create our own, shall we? And I'm gonna use QuickTime. There are other things you can use like GarageBand, et cetera. So I'm just gonna use QuickTime here. Go to File, New Audio Recording. And you should see the audio recording little thing. You see me talking there and it is, the volume levels are moving, et cetera, et cetera. Now we're gonna create our own particular recording here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Hey, Jeff. Okay, so that's how I want Siri to respond when I invoke Siri for the first time. So let's hear it. Hey, Jeff. Okay, so that sounded decent, but you still hear the mouse clicks in there and some delay. So let's trim this audio using the edit trim option. And you can just drag that over like that. And then we'll drag the end over like that. Now let's hear it. Hey, Jeff. Okay, so that sounded a lot better. So let's go ahead and click trim. That'll trim that audio, get all that extra stuff out of there. And then you wanna to go to file and then you wanna select export. And we're just gonna export this to our desktop as audio only, obviously. Hey, Jeff, M4A. Click export, and that will export to your desktop. And here is the file that we need. Um, hey, Jeff. There you go. So it sounds really good. Sounds like it will be perfect for Siri. Now the next thing we need to do is get this file converted. So we'll close out QuickTime Player, and we're gonna convert it to a file format Siri can recognize. So open iTunes, go to Preferences, and then under the General tab, click Import Settings, and then change the import using to AIFF Encoder, and click OK, OK. Now that we have that, what we wanna do is just go ahead and drag our file into iTunes. I did just went ahead and created a search on Hey Jeff, dragged it in here, and there is the Hey Jeff file right there. Now just open that up in album view, right click on the Hey Jeff file, or whatever your file is called, and then select Create AIFF Version. Okay, now you wanna right click again, select Show in Finder, and now we wanna identify our file that we just created. There it is, Hey Jeff AIF. There we go. So we just wanna go ahead and drag that over to our desktop because that's what we need here. All right, great. So once we have it dragged over to our desktop, you wanna go ahead and close out of iTunes. You can delete the original heyjeff.m4a file, just like that. And now we have the heyjeff.aif file. So that is what we need, we're good to go. Now we wanna open up our FTP connection again and you wanna just rename the jblbegin.caf file because we wanna save that off we don't want to delete it but we're going to replace it with our new creation so you just rename it to old or something like that now you want to rename your hey jeff file or whatever you called it to jbl underscore begin dot caf and the good thing about the caf and aif file extensions is that they are interchangeable so you can just rename that and use caf just like this Super easy. So now we're ready to drag that over using our FTP connection to our iPhone or whatever device we're using. There you go, so that is the new. Hey Jeff. And we previewed it just like that. So we're good to go. Now let's try it out on our iPhone 4S and see what happens. Hey Jeff. Hey Siri. Siri says hi back. So that's pretty awesome, folks. It works just as expected. It's so easy to do once you actually have it set up your file converted, etc. Hey, Jeff. What's going on, Siri? Searching the web for what's going on, Siri. <laughs> yeah, Siri doesn't always work as expected, but getting your own custom Siri intro response is very easy. You can also change some of those other file names to create your own custom cancel responses, your confirm responses, etc. So there's lots of different things, lots of different ways you can customize Siri. It really is up to you and how far you want to take this thing. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Oh, big shout out to, well, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but S14T3R on Twitter. Shout out to him for giving me the idea to do this. Let me know what you think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.